Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Naval Dreadnoughts and to Shipyard Champions. And just welcome back from uh, from myself, generally. Um, I'm wondering, where have you been? I disappeared for a week. Uh, combination of things. First of all, I had a... Uh, it was the end of the school holidays, so um, my bank of recorded episodes had run out. <laughs> then I had a sick child. Then I got sick, then I have another sick child, and then we had an apocalyptic flood, which kind of threw all the recording schedules out of whack. And in the middle of that, 1.4 came out, meaning that I couldn't just continue the campaign. Um, there will be a video out today about the campaign as well. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. But uh, this is custom uh, battle action, and it is pure vanilla, which I, haven't, I have not played any 1.4 yet at all. This is my very first time. So, uh, Shipyard Champions, what's the challenge? Well, we have a battleship. This is the Brunhilde. Now, we are playing way up in 1950. Uh, so, and I know this is roughly 3 billion, this ship. I don't know anything else about it, but the fact it's German. So, I'm expecting, you know, super battleship, 18-inch guns. Armor has been reduced in 1.4. Um... Uh, unless you're playing with my Armor Unlimited mod. Um, but uh, I'm not playing with that today. This is just the stock vanilla. So this could have a fair amount of armor because it's late game super battleship. Uh, and we're only allowed to build battle cruisers, which have had their armor significantly nerfed. So I'm going Britain. Um, I. Let's, let's have a look. What is. Yeah, look at that. 10.8 inches of armor. Absolutely useless. Uh, so, what are we going to do here? Uh, I think I'm going to go minimum displacement. And we're going to go for the full 39-ish knots. Uh, and I have a suspicion about guns in vanilla um, 1.4 dreadnoughts. So, I'm going to go for a 12-inch... 60 caliber gun. We're going to fit it with an auto two loader, obviously, electro hydro. Um, I'm going to go TNT four, but, and I know this might seem uh, a little bit odd for me, but I'm going to go triple base. Uh, and the main reason for that is to get 7.5% gun range boost. Uh, which is very, very spicy. Oh, God, the tooltip delay. Show me the thing. Okay, I can't stand that. Um, <laughs> show me the thing. How am I supposed to do anything if you don't show me the thing? So I need to put down a tower for that. Uh, might as well use the best tower. There we go. Um, so we've got 1.69 rounds a minute at the moment. That's not too bad. Um and I'm looking at. I'm going to start looking at penetration stuff. I'm going to grab my calculator. Um, uh, yes. Yeah, so I think I'm going to go. No, I'm not going to go high cap. But it reduces range. Yeah, I might actually go soft cap. Potentially. I know that, again, might seem like a weird choice. Yeah, I'm going to go soft cap HE. And semi ballistic AP. And I know that sounds like a really weird setup, but that's what I'm going for. Uh, we're going to go super heavy shells. So we're going to explode like nobody's business. Um, I'm going to go standard ratio because I don't know which one of these is going to be more effective, but it's going to be one of the two. Uh, all or nothing. Emphasis on the nothing. Uh, actually, no, we don't need anti-torpedo. We'll bring the best quality armor, although uh, I don't hold out much hope for it. We'll bring a hydrophone just in case. We'll bring an RDF. Uh, also, do you need to keep an eye on my budget? And I've gone over budget already, which is a bit of an issue. Uh, 
especially when I add crew. Um, this might just be straight up. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to use all three billion and just go for one ship. Probably. Right, don't care about range. And yeah, now we can just fill out the guns. So we're going to use these 12 inches. We're not going to use the jewels, though. We're going to use... Quads. <laughs> yes, I think we are going to use quads, actually. Again, might seem like a... Oh, they've gone up to 62 caliber for some reason. 60 is fine. Whoa! Windows, don't do that. Oh, stupid thing. I'm going to go A, B, X, Y, quads. That's the plan. Oh yeah, I need a funnel. Uh, I need two funnels. Uh, there we go. See, spare displacement for days. Um, and I know I haven't done anything with the armor yet. Not going to bother with secondaries. I don't think they're going to be super useful. You could bring some two inch. Um, but yeah, I really don't think they're going to do much, but we'll bring them anyway. Uh, max link. Um, see, armor, I just barely have any money anyway, but uh, let's max armor the turrets. Maximum armor on the turrets. Uh, what's my maximum? 11.4. Wow, so amazing. Naught. Um, I mean, really, all I'm doing here is armoring against uh, secondary guns, as far as I'm concerned. 11.4 deck. Damn. Impressive. It's too expensive, though. Uh, yeah, we just just need like three inch. Wait, I've gone to three point five. Okay. Do you know what? Screw armor. <laughs> wow, that makes it so much cheaper. Can we? Can we really just? say screw armor that's hilarious uh let's go for 15 on the turrets because if i can get it down to one and a half i can get two of these uh seven and a half wow the look at the pitch though you basically need the armor to make the pitch not terrible fascinating Okay, right, which one is the really expensive one? Is the deck? Yeah, it's the deck. Let's go five, uh, I, well, actually, hold on. Let's get me layers. This is mainly to reduce my pitch. No, it's still too expensive. Uh, let's go 10. Oh, Jesus. They really have been fiddling with this, haven't they? Um, let's just shave this down. There we go, 2.99. That's fine. Forward weight offset, right? We should be able to fix that. Uh, I'm not expecting to win this. Go in this route. But uh, this is actually, with this level of armor, a somewhat viable approach going for 12-inch guns. Because this is this is a dedicated cruiser killer. It's going to die horribly to... Um, to anything, uh, anything bigger, like what we're fighting. But just look at all this spare displacement. I know I'm limited by budget, but look at all the spare displacement because yeah, they've rebalanced armor, uh, and well, rebalanced. They, they've limited it, but you can't. Even, you, you, they haven't rebalanced the the, the weights uh, at all. So it's like, well, what are you supposed to? Uh, anyway. Whinging 
There's no need to winch because I I fixed it. If you if you if like me you launch into playing a battle cruiser and you're like this is pointless, download my armor unlimited mod. It's it's the best. Right, because um, you don't have to deal with this crap anymore. We're slightly hidden, which is great, because we can close the range. Uh, what is the range on these guns? 40 kilometers. That's not the best, but it's it's okay. Should mean that we have decent accuracy when we get into range. By the way, I'm not, not explaining the points for this at all. So you start off with 10 points. We could spend points to do different things, and I didn't do any of that. Um, it is 12 points for sinking Brunhilde. Six points for causing heavy damage. I don't know how that's defined. Uh, and three points for medium damage. Uh, I'm guessing medium is like 50% structure or something like that. And heavy is like, you know, they've got a bunch of engines out. Half sinking, etc. There we go. No, we're going to die. We're going to die so bad. <laughs> Those are big guns, 18s, and my guns aren't firing. Hurry up. There we go. Just kind of what I expected, really. It's just just the way of it. I don't even know why I bothered. Um, you could probably do it with uh, torpedoes, maybe. Like, you could go like a single 9-inch gun, fore and aft. Oops. Uh, go go cheap. Um, and I'm only doing this, by the way, because uh, I kind of feel bad that the episode was super short and mostly me whinging. Um, <laughs> single nine inch gun. There and there. And then. See, this drives up the costs significantly and no this will not count so I score uh, well I would have scored 10 points <laughs> I didn't, you know it's not the end of the world um, 24 inch fasts some parts are badly placed I have spare money Ooh, fancy um, I don't think I can shove any more uh, why have you gone red? Oh yeah, of course I changed the size of the torpedoes, didn't I? A bit like a triple in there, yeah. Just for a bit of bit of variety. Uh, yeah, there we go. Let's go for this and uh, try again. Uh, let's use the spare weight for more speed. You just max the speed? No. Uh... Oh, sorry there, like 43 knots? Yeah, 43 knots, fine, whatever. But the, the, all this is doing <laughs> is convincing me of the prejudice that I had about 1.4 and battle cruisers in general is that they are now more or less useless um, because of the way the game handles uh, mission generation battle cruisers taking on battleships is very very common um, you need to design your battle cruisers around that possibility so there's no reason to build them none oh, of course this time we spot them really far out
Oh, we actually sent some. That will cause them to manoeuvre. Let's get turning. Turn around. A lot of fish in the water. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> like, I did actually get some hits in. Way. Um. Yeah. No, thanks. No, no, thank you. Don't like it. Uh, however, uh, what I'm going to do <laughs> is uh, I'm going to exit the game. I'm going to come back and uh, show you what uh, what the mod does. <laughs> Okay, so a little bit of uh, editing of the uh, game files later. Uh, this this is the original ship, and as you can see, we couldn't really max things out. But now look at this armor. Instead of that is a little chunkier. So if like me, you really hate the changes <laughs> they've made. Um, yeah. You, you can get around it. Now, let's actually try and build uh, build something here. Uh, 37 and a half. Range does not matter. We'll stick with the 85 uh, veteran crew. I'm going with the modernized because it's slightly cheaper. In case you're wondering. And I'm going to go... Oh, we've got Mark V everything's uh, 18s then. Uh, let's go AVX 18s. Uh, that's quite a lot for this ship, actually. Can we go uh, like classic. Classic British renown. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, we can go hood style. Okay, AVX Y duels. How very predictable of me. Do, 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 do. Uh, how long are these? 50 caliber, that seems fine to me. Uh, okay, radar, uh, coincidence. Nah, probably don't need the need that. Try and bring the RDF. Um, I am stick, gonna st stick with triple A, so I'm just going to go standard though. Capitalistic base fuse. Uh, increased AP, top bottom hull, I would bring the torpedo if I was uh, designing this as a campaign ship, but I might come back and dump it. But it's just to show, like, they haven't rebalanced the armour around, um, around the new kind of values. Uh, right, funnel... Funnel number one and funnel number two. No, that doesn't look right. The forward one's slightly taller. Annoys me, but there we go. Um, oh, I don't know. We're up at ninety-seven percent. I might have to go smaller. What's the reload on these? One point seven three rounds a minute. That's actually really, really good. Um. Okay. Okay. But you can see it defaults to having more armor than the other one did. Yeah. I think to get the armor in and the fact that I'm going four guns, though. I'd go down. I'm going to go 15 edge. I'm going to go for a hood. I don't think we need the 18s because uh, Pen has been buffed a fair bit in uh, 1.4. pull this back a little bit. Oh wait, I've got an halfway offset. Never mind. Ignore me. Um, <laughs> but that gives us quite a lot to work with. And then if we go for, say, 16-8 scheme. Uh, let's go for thick. Because they did have more secondaries than I was expecting. 18-18-9. Uh,
go something like this, and then max out the layers. Oh, I've gone over budget. Those layers are expensive. Look at that. Layers are super expensive. How about we just go for um, cheeky layers? Yeah, that's much cheaper. Uh, yeah, let's go cheeky layers and some noodling to get that under. Aft weight offset. Really? I am surprised. Hmm. There's another way of doing this. Yeah, that gives me that that shortens my citadel quite a lot. Um, perfectly balanced, still pretty high pitch, even with all that armor shoved in the middle of it. Uh, and we need to lose seventy three million. Uh, should be doable. Um, Let's make them 5 inch 55s, 94 million. What happens if I dump the RDF? Saves a bit. Dump the hydrophone, saves a bit more. There we go. Downgrade the anti torpedo. Can we get the uh, hydrophone back for that? No. There we go. A bit more of a compromise. Um, very weird. Very weird looking. Um. But, uh, yeah, it's not too bad. And might actually survive a couple of hits. Okay, probably not, because I think the uh, Brynhilde was... Oh, wait, it's dark. I really don't want to fight in the dark. Hold on. The thing is, I'm... Break oh, it's changed anyway. <laughs> That's fine. Um, yeah, it's like... Yes, I know. And I, I've heard the arguments for and against the, the new armor limits. I just hate a hard limit. I really hate it. Yeah, jeez. 12 18 uh, inch guns, that's a lot. Got some hits though. Look at that accuracy way up there. Let's see. Faster rate of fire, that was a main belt pen. I did say that um, pen had been increased. Ow! Yeah, there's not really much you can do against a high uh, resistance build like this. I will have a look at it actually. But you know, at least I'm able to kind of take a couple of hits. Okay, not many. But it's not an insta kill. We have actually landed a little bit of damage on them. We are going to sink, though. Because with armor changing, resistance was already a bad stat. Uh, and by bad stat, I mean... And again, playing as the British, I have terrible resistance. Uh, it was already, like, possible to really do resistance stacking. I'm wondering if... Yeah, resistance stacking and HE damage is probably a really nasty way to go. I should see the shared design if I go in like this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, it was 13, 14 billion. I don't feel so bad. Why did we only get 3 billion to fight? Anyway, um... Did I misread that? 3 billion versus 14? That's never going to go well. Yeah, look at that. Rocking 20 inches of main belt. Um, and what's its resistance? 159. Yeah. No way. I, I, I'm, I'm really curious to see how the other guys approached it. You could maybe do it with torpedoes. Just like build loads of really cheap torpedo boats. But if anyone did it with guns, I bet you it was HE spam. Um, just building as many cheap 
nine inch gun <laughs> it's the cheapest thing you could possibly build but i think if you try and build a peer ship to do it, it it's not going to happen anyway uh let me know what what do you think of the the changes in uh 1.4 to do with armor and th and guns and things um particularly to do with battle cruisers like cruisers armor reduction i don't mind that that's fine but uh, the other stuff let me know and thank you very much for watching bye for now